What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. When we left off in the last episode, we finally got ourselves an armorer, aka weapons officer, which I actually need to talk to him, by the way, because I forgot to get a quest from him so far. I don't, I think, I mean he gave us the gloves. You can't extract the minerals I require for your arsenal with the, that basic laser of yours. My latest scan revealed unauthorized mining underway close by. If I were you, I'd find the trespasser and confiscate their technology so we can copy its circuitry. Armor, further tool, an advanced mining laser to aid in gathering resources that our munitions will require. Please mark it on my map. Okay. Done. They may not be built as weapons, but advanced lasers pack some serious power. Bear that in mind. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now. What was it that he wanted, the Saito wanted me to do? Uh, non ferrous plate is the foundation of many technologies. Once reinforced with condensium from radioactive plants, it will be ideal for your purposes. Um, radioactive... Notably, I will need hazmat gauntlets. Okay. So, I did I did off-camera go to the station and get the heridium I needed, because I went all over the place and couldn't find any on this planet, ironically enough. And he wants me to look up uh, another purple element. I forget what it's called, though. Pugnium. There we go. Yeah, pugnium. Got it. So, first things first, let's get us some hazmat gloves. Uh, I'm not really sure where I want to put this. I guess I can move the Atlas Pass and we'll put it right here. There we go. Hazmat gloves. So it's 50 of Heridium and Plutonium and then 20 Platinum. And now we have some hazmat gloves. Which should let us pick up like Condensium and stuff like that. Which is what we kind of need to do now for the... Well, for the weapons. Or no, for the science officer. For the weapons guy... I still can't find any other... Species of anything that I haven't scanned on this place. Uh, so we're gonna handle... The weapons officer's... Objective over here. And in doing so... Hopefully we'll keep an eye out for some condensium that we can grab. I know of a few places that have them around us here and there. Why is this so far away? Just why? Okay. It's funny, you know, when you go at it this way, it's a lot closer. Ooh, it has a landing pad. Well, that's not ominous at all. Well, the illegal miners have, you know, welcoming that. Hi? Forgive me, friend. Please take what you will, and let's forget this unfortunate misunderstanding. As I approach the trespasser, their nervousness is clear. No doubt they were aware of my claim to this world, and had hoped to remain undiscovered as they stripped it of its resources. Under the circumstances, I feel quite justified in confiscating their tech. Scan Miner's Tool. I am glad to have avoided conflict so close to home and quite satisfied to trade forgiveness for the tech copied for the trespasser from the trespasser. Advanced mining laser, mining beam component. Okay, I need more heridium. Tag nabbit! Can't find any of this crap on this planet. Oh, wide shot adapter. Granted, wide cone of destruction. Fun. Oh, and a multi tool. Hello. Are you better? 
103,000, 16 slots. Mine has 16, or no, mine has 14. Ooh. What do we got? Mining beam. Beam intensifier is strengthened to speed up terrain destruction. I don't really care about those. I like the um, focuses. Oh, that's the combat amplifier. That's virtually useless. Mining beam, coolant. Allows user to mine with less interruptions. But this one doesn't have this guy that I like, so I'd have to strip that. It doesn't have the plus two scanner, which I don't actually know if I can make. It does have analysis vision. I don't know. It does have two more slots, so it may be worth it. I wish there was a way to transfer upgrades. That would be kind of cool. You know what? I'm going to try something real quick, actually. Why not break these down out here and then get what we need for them? And this will also tell me if I have the blueprint for that scanner. Ooh, I have a plus three. A plus three scanner. And I could almost make that if I hadn't more chrysonite. But I don't have the plus two signal booster. Eh, whatever. YOLO. I'm tired of this gun anyway. So let's dismantle this. And we'll dismantle that. And we'll dismantle that. Dismantle that. Dismantle that. Like, pretty much... Oh, anything it'll let me dismantle. Because then I'm getting a lot more resources out of it. Right? And then you sell your gun. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, now. I guess if I don't actually use the Heridium, I won't need to get rid of it. I mean, I won't need to buy more of it because I'll already, I already got a hundred out of that uh, mining tool. So we should be good. Um, now, I'm, I'm thinking for now of leaving some of this stuff, but then just in the back of my head eventually knowing I'm going to get rid of it. An upgraded mining laser, laser with the capacity to bore through dense, unyielding minerals. But it is a mining laser companion. So tell you what, this is a plus three intensifier and this is only a one. Let's get rid of that. And we'll place the amplifier one here. Oh, I do have a plus two, you dummy. It's right there, knuckle-headed Nimrod. All right. So we got the advanced one. Uh, combat one we don't need at all, so I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put this guy there. And that's only 25 iron. That's only a little bit, so I'm gonna move the plasma launcher, I think, to a more... convenient location. We're gonna put the analysis vision here. I'm gonna put the... Yeah, I'm going to put the plasma launcher right here, and then I can do, like, a couple of plasma launcher upgrades here. I could do three um, bolt casters, and then I could do a couple more mining ones. I think that's how I'm going to roll with this. Uh, let's check weapons. Do I have any damage amplifiers we could use? I have a plus four over here, but I can never get enough aluminum. But really, aluminum and heridium, it, sh it shouldn't be that difficult to acquire. Alright, so we got our mining laser. Now, let's take a look. See if we can't find some condensium around here. Because that would be convenient. Ooh, met 40 aliens. I didn't actually know that I did that. Shielding plate and get some more isotope. What is like hovering around me right now? Oh, it's all these ships, I guess. Alright, save that. Oh, that's a light. Where's the waypoint? There it is. <laughs> the Ugd. 
Ugged. Ugged. Wow, they're just circling, aren't they? That's not ominous at all. Alright, Condensium. Condensium. There's some Thalmium here. That's not Condensium. I know there's some not too far from our base, but I was kind of hoping there would just be some right around here we could grab. Oh well. Let's head back to the base and I'm going to look around for some Condensium. Alright, so two out of three kind of thing at the moment. We've got the Condensium. I managed to get a wee bit. Close to 100. So we'll see how that goes with the science officer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Got it. Let me speak. Perfect. The blueprints are yours. What blueprints? What do you give me? New non-ferrous plate. Non-ferrous plating that is strong, light, and malleable. Non-magnetic and highly resistant to rust and corrosion. Requires 50 condensium and 20 intrium. Interesting. Alright. What do you got for me, Bashy? Kind of interesting that the weapons guy is Bashy. Your ship must be ready for close combat. The Viking have a powerful photon blast weapon I could adapt. Seek out their Viking daggers for clues. Actually, I happen to have one. I got it from the stock light uh, pad at the uh, outpost where we got the mining laser. Photon cannon shots are granted a wide cone of destruction, reduces range and rate of fire, encouraging combat with targets in close proximity, operates automatically once constructed, 100 nickel. Interesting. My experiments have brought me into contact with toxic minerals, a tea made from chorizogen, which can be extracted from skywort, will counter the exposure. If you are not farming it, look in the snow. My armor is warming... warming? To their purpose at Oh, I thought you were saying it was supposed to be warning. Uh, I am promised the designs for a formidable rapid-fire weapon. But while they finalize their plans for a photon accelerator gun, I must undertake an urgent errand for them. Their work has exposed them to poisonous toxins. Okay. Fortunately, there is a source available to us on frozen planets. Carizogen. Be sure that you do wait too long and you may be too late to help. Now, it would be really interesting. I doubt they will do it, but it'd be interesting if, like, you actually did wait too long and you came back and he was just, like, dead and you had to get a new weapons guy. <laughs> that would be kind of like awful, but funny. The work you set me set me interferes with my taxonomical investigation. I'll draw up the plans for the circuit board you need, but you must provide me a sample of sac venom from my collection. You can harvest it from Bloodsbane and is rarely found and is rarely found on planets. While the breath breadth of their knowledge is useful, it is sometimes difficult to get my scientists to focus on the task in hand. I'm in dire need of circuit boards for the base's electronics, but they are absorbed in their own studies. I ha if I fulfill their request to gather the sac venom they want to examine, perhaps I can get them back on track. Interesting. Take care to wear your hazmat gauntlets when handling it. Medicine is not my strongest something. And he still wants pugnium. So I have a feeling we should probably visit a... Oh, and I got this off of a random creature that attacked me and I shot it and it dropped Mordite, which is weird. Okay. So I'm kind of thinking we should probably visit a... station and sell some stuff, maybe? Or... Or... Containers. Can I make? I don't think I have any voltaic. Yeah, I don't think I have any voltaic um, cells. So I need 50 iron and two of those. How do I make the cells again? Oh, that's install. I want craft. Craft. There you are. Antrium. 
just a couple or just 50 antrium okay now this would be an interesting opportunity to check and see if our um, if our minerals actually respawn oh, what was that oh this is antrium wow hello Wait, what am I shooting because it didn't exactly break must have hit a plant behind them? That's weird. So it's not those things. I thought it was the stubby little purple things, but it's not. Weird. Alright, now where was I before when I found all that an antrium? I think I'm saying atrium and it's wrong. It's antrium. Oh, and there's probably some more condensium over there. It's all the glowy plants, isn't it? Yeah, like you. But we were next to a um, cave entrance or something before. Oh, it was over there on my left. There it is. It was around here somewhere. So if there's stuff in front of this entrance area, then we'll know that the stuff respawns after a while. I don't know that they do or not. I know for a fact I got some stuff over here, so let's check this out. I think they respawn. I'm thinking they respawn, because that... I think was one spot where I found them. might not. I possibly just missed one. Can't quite tell. How much of that do I have now? 116, so that should be enough for two cells. And then I should have enough iron already to make another container, and that'll help us store some crap. Okay, so let me do this, and we'll be underway. Okay, so I finally managed to find a snow planet. We're a good little clip away from the base, but luckily with the whole uh, teleportation system that's been implemented, we can jump right back to the base now, which is awesome. Now the quest is to find the plants that yield cryo... I'm going to end up calling it cry cryogenium or something, because it, it's confusing. It's like chrysogen or something. But that's just hard to remember. Um, also, I looked up, because I kind of didn't really feel like running around for years figuring out where things are. Let's see. Nope, that's Mordite. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Um... You can get the sack venom from Urchin. I was testing this out, but I guess they're not Urchins. I was kind of trying to figure that out. But it's uh, underwater urchin type things will give you the sack venom, and destroying sentinels will give you the, um, whatchamacallit, the pugnium. So, with that said, we're going to do some exploration and see if we can't find all three in one fail swoop. Fail swoop. Whatever. Now that is interesting because it's cold out. Going underwater really does not help you. Normally you'll lose the temperature one in favor of the oxygen. But that is not the case on super cold planet. Uh, where did I park my ship? Oh, there it is. Alright. I'm not really seeing any urchin things. We might have to get that on our world or a different world. Because they're not yielding it. Oops! I hope I didn't hit him. They're not yielding it. Um, I wonder if... I wonder if cryo... 
Genium whatever would be in here. It says medium sized plants. That's carbon. Uh, on uh, ice resistant planets. So, like this. Well, ice resistant plants, not planets, but. Now, I don't know if it's going to be something like this or the other ones where you can just walk up and grab it, which is possible. So let me poke my head around a little bit here and see if I can't figure out where some of this is located. Okay, so I think we managed to find it. Because this looks... Yep, there it is. What is it called again? Coryzogen. 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 There we go. That sounds more appropriate. Probably what it's supposed to have been called all along. Coryzogen. I'm going to end up getting a record on a random world before I get one on my home world. Just because, you know, these things are all running around out here. Now, I think I need 50 of the Chrysogen. I think. Oh, there's more. I'm actually not with my ship at the moment. I'm kind of surprised of how long I've been able to be out and about without it. 27, 27. That should give me 50, right? Yes. And in case you were wondering, if you noticed that one of my weapons was busted on my ship, that's because I got into a dogfight and somehow managed to strafe like one civilian thing and then they all turned on me and blew me up. It's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Ah, there's my... I kind of want to see what's up at the top of this thing. Oh, right. Are there any sentinels around here? I don't see any. I wanted to try and blow them up, but I guess we can get that somewhere else. We don't have to do that here. Let's see what's up here at the top of this. I'm glad they did the whole whole jetpack thing, because otherwise that would have been nigh impossible. Now the problem is going to be getting down. Alley -oop. Let's see if we can make some distance progress by coasting down. Ow! bit of an abrupt ending. Alright, so basically what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna head back to the station, use the teleporter to jump back to our planet that we want to be on. Um, noting this one, because this might not be a bad place to move if we decided to change places. Um, I can't tell where I am. But I need to get out of here. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the station, use the teleporter, and get back to our base. Maybe shoot a sentinel or two and get some of the the stuff and things that we need. Um Yeah, and pretty much go from there. Okay, so we are back at the base. I did a little bit of off-camera stuff, shot a couple sentinels, and we did in fact get Pugnium. So if you want Pugnium, kill the Sentinels. I forgot about that, but he did mention something about it was kind of in the Sentinels' DNA or whatever. So let's give a, our Pugnium to our builder. To develop more building modules... Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Here's your Pugnium. Thank you. These blueprints will broaden your architectural horizons considerably. Building parts. Cuboid room. Okay, this has been something that everybody's been talking to me about. Um, the cuboid room is a different setup than the Subnautica uh, bubble room type of thing. So that's something we definitely want to explore, especially since the cuboid rooms can fit the, um, whatchamacallit, the containers. So we can put them in the base now. 
Yep, 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 yep. Extracted from Skywart will counter... That's interesting that I got it out of, you know, a plant. I don't know if that's what he's talking about. Not a moment too soon. This will soon flush the toxins from my body. I hope this weapon is worth my headache. Photon accelerator. Photon cannon releases... Okay, so this is for my ship. That's the one he was talking about before. So let's talk to him again. See what else he's got. I can only do so much. This place needs the support of a dedicated scientist if I am to make further progress. And unless you build a science terminal, you will never be able to recruit one. I've built that. That's weird. Good, I managed to complete my blueprints this time, but with a scientist on board, we'll save much time. Weird. Fires a large concentrated ball of charged particles at forward targets, causing high heavy damage. The charge is non-guided and will continue on its trajectory until it impacts with an obstacle. That's different. There's nothing more I can teach you, not without breaking several interplanetary arms treaties, at least. The sad news my armor imparts comes as no surprise. They have transformed my ship in the time we have worked together, but now our work relationship has been exhausted. Now, this is an interesting dilemma. I don't know if that means I need to recruit a different one, or if that just means we've unlocked all of the weapons. That I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we might need to get a different one. Uh, I meant to talk to my builder, too. What do you got for me, buddy? The Gek were fine farmers even before they built their lost empire. Find me Gek charms and I will examine their carvings for useful advice. Really? As many of those as I've sold and now you want one? Jeez. Okay. So what I'm gonna do... <clears throat> excuse me. I've been recording a lot today of different things so my throat's a pretty messed up. Uh, let's go with delete. We're gonna delete this. And that should give me back some stuff. So cuboid room. We have cuboid... Oh, that's room window. Window, window, window. Oh! Foundation strut. Interesting. Room flooring. So let's just try a room. That is a tiny room. <laughs> it's a very tiny room. Now, one thing to compare... Oh, infrastructure. That's different. Decoration. Basic structural buildable item. Weird. Basic structure buildable item. Not really sure what these are for. They're just buildable items, apparently. Maybe they're for decoration or something? Oh, they all say infrastructure. Basic structure. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what those are for. Anyways. So this requires a hundred, and the cube room requires a hundred. Oh, and now I have this stuff too. Decoration. Buildable ornament. Interesting. Huh. Well, this is kind of cool. I thought he just gave me cube rooms, but he gave me a lot of stuff, too. Decorations, banners, flags, holy crap. What's that thing? An all-purpose work surface, table, tech panel. Wow! Ooh, and a bed. Sweet. Tech, lights, cuboid room. Alright, so let's add another one here. Because these seem really small to me. I mean, granted, it opens up your buildability, if, if that's a word. Um, because now I could go and grab my containers and put them out here, but it's still just, it's kind of small by comparison for the same amount of room. I guess you're sacrificing space for creativity since you can only put like one or two things in these big rooms so that's probably what it is anyways we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode in the meantime i hope y'all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i will see you all next time peace